exploring our home away from home. The dogs are in the back. Let's go. Today we hopped in the car and headed to the Appalachian Trail, Newfound Gap, and Clingman's Dome. It has always been a dream of mine to hike the Appalachian Trail, but since it hasn't happened yet and may never happen, I at least wanted to see a white blaze and set foot on the trail. This was very exciting for me and the main reason for my trip to Newfound Gap and Clingman's Dome. The weather was disappointing that day though with rain and very limited visibility. I will still show you what I was able to see. And I will use other published pictures to give you an idea of the splendor of the area. Just being there was enough for me. The Appalachian Trail, or as it is commonly known as the AT, is a hiking trail in the eastern United States, extending almost 2,200 miles between Springer Mountain in Georgia and Mount Katahdin in Maine. It passes through 14 states. The Appalachian Trail Conservancy claims the Appalachian Trail to be the longest hiking-only trail in the world. More than 3 million people hike segments of the trail each year. The trail was first proposed in 1921 and completed in 1937 after more than a decade of work. Throughout its length, the AT is marked by white paint blazes that are 2 by 6 inches. In past years, some sections of the trail also used metal diamonds and markers with the AT logo, few of which survive. These weren't present where I was. Someone told me later they are used in the northeastern part of the trail starting in Maine. Most hikers carry a lightweight tent, tent hammock, or tarp. The trail has more than 250 shelters and campsites available for hikers. Shelters are usually spaced a day's hike or less apart, most often near a water source, which may be dry, and with a privy. They generally have spaces for tent sites in the vicinity as the shelters may be full. Trail hikers who attempt to complete the entire trail in a single season are called through hikers. Those who hike the trail during a series of separate trips are known as section hikers. However you choose to do it, I think it would be a satisfying and life-changing experience and well worth putting it on your bucket list. Accessed by the same parking lot where the AT crossed was Newfound Gap. Newfound Gap is a mountain pass located near the center of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park of the Southern Appalachian Mountains. Situated along the border of Tennessee and North Carolina, the state line crosses the gap, as does Newfound Gap Road. Newfound Gap is also home to the Rockefeller Memorial, a popular destination within the National Park and the site from where President Franklin Roosevelt dedicated the park in September 1940. He spoke from the Rockefeller Memorial. That ceremony dedicated, he said, a sanctuary that is not a local park, a county park, or even a state park, but a national park for all the people of the country and the rest of the world to enjoy. Prior to the development of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Newfound Gap was an undiscovered pass two miles east of what was long thought to be the lowest mountain pass over the Great Smoky Mountains, Indian Gap. Indian Gap Road, the unpaved, arduous trail frequented by traders, farmers, and even by the Confederate Army during the American Civil War, was completed in 1839 and named after the old Cherokee Indian Trail that the road paralleled. Newfound Gap itself was not recognized as the lowest gap over the mountains until 1872, when Arnold Guillot measured many of the mountains in the area and determined the Newfound Gap to be a lower, more accessible mountain pass. After Newfound Gap, we traveled the short trip up the road to Clingman's Dome. As you can see, we were actually in the clouds still. Clingman's Dome is actually a mountain in the Great Smoky Mountains. Its name in Cherokee is Kuwahi, meaning Mulberry Place. At an elevation of 6,643 feet, it is the highest mountain in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, the highest point in the state of Tennessee, and the highest point along the 2,192-mile Appalachian Trail. It is also the third highest point in mainland eastern North America, after Mount Mitchell and Mount Craig. The southern Appalachian spruce fir forest, which covers Clingman's Dome, occurs only at the highest elevations in the southeastern United States and has more in common with forests at northern latitudes. 
The forest on and around Klingman's Dome has experienced a large die-off of Fraser fir caused by the non-native insect balsam woolly atelgid. Klingman's Dome is the most accessible mountaintop in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The seven-mile Klingman's Dome Road, which is open annually from April 1st through to November 30th, begins just past Newfound Gap and leads up the mountain 330 feet below the summit. A half-mile paved trail leads from the parking lot to the 45-foot observation tower, which was built in 1959 at the top of the mountain. We were unable to get pictures of it because of the fog. The trail offers a glimpse of the often hostile environment of Highland Appalachia, passing through the spruce fir forest and its accompanying blowdowns of dead Fraser firs. The Appalachian Trail crosses Klingman's Dome, passing immediately north of the observation tower. A seven and a half mile leg of the trail connects the mountain with Newfound Gap and provides the only access to the mountain in winter months. We really enjoyed our day at the Appalachian Trail, Newfound Gap, and Klingman's Dome. Even though we weren't able to get very many pictures, I hope you were able to get some good information. Please like, share, and hit that bell and be sure to join me again and hit the road with Lisa.